Let's study preparation of alcohols. Preparation of alcohol. First we will study alcohol from alkene. Take example of CH3, CH double bond, CH2, that is propene, plus water gives CH3, CHOH, CH3, propane, two all, propane, two all. The product is according to Markovnikov's rule. Propane to all product is according to Markovnikov's rule. Now let's study the mechanism of this reaction. That is propane to propane to all. In the first step, pro, protonation takes place of alkene. Protonation of alkene. In this step, water plus H plus form acid will give H3O plus and we have CH3, CH double bond CH2, H3O so attack of double bond on hydrogen gives carbocation. There are two carbocations possible. One is two degree carbocation that is secondary carbocation plus once more 2 degree carbocation and 1 degree carbocation but as we know 2 degree carbocation is more stable than 1 degree carbocation now in the second step attack of nucleophile Here we will write plus H2 that is water. So attack of nucleophile water takes place in the following step. We have CH3 CH CH3 that is 2 degree carbocation which is more stable that is secondary carbocation. Attack of water takes place and because of this, the product we obtain is and now from this we will get the final product as next step follows that is deprotonation takes place. So in the third step that is deprotonation to form alcohol. When deprotonation takes place from this intermediate compound that is CH3 CHO we get the product alcohol CH3 CHOH CH3 that is with plus H2 we are getting H3O plus. So once more, alcohol from alkene, propane plus water in presence of acid gives propane to all. If we understand the mechanism once more, protonation takes place of alkene, then attack of nucleophile and then third, deprotonation of alcohol.
Let's study another method that is hydroboration oxidation method. That is also we can say preparation of alcohols. But the name of the method is hydroboration oxidation method. CH3, CH double bond, CH2, propene. In presence of B2H6, in presence of B2H6, and an oxidation gives CH3, CH2, CH2OH. Remember, here we are getting propane 1 ohm. That is the product as like as we can say according to Markov Nikov anti Markov Nikov rule. Product obtained here is according to anti Markov Nikov rule because we are getting propane 1 ohm. Now, since the mechanism of this reaction is concerned, mechanism we can standard understand in a simple manner. CH3, CH double bond, CH2, propane. B2H6 is BH3 twice. And we can write, it is as BH3, we can write as HBH2. So H will attach here and BH2 will attach here. We are getting CH3, CH, H. CH2, BH2 and this is also known as pi complex. This is also known as pi complex. Ultimately, this pi complex converts to CH3, CH2, CH2, BH2. CH3, CH2, CH2 and BH2. Pi complex. Now another reaction takes place with propene CH3 CH double bond CH2. So the next product will be CH3 CH2 CH2 twice BH. And in the last step also CH3 CH double bond CH2 that is propene we get CH3, CH2, CH2, tris B. That is, trialkyl borane. Now, this trialkyl borane, CH3, CH2, CH2, three times B. That is, trialkyl borane. On oxidation with alkaline hydrogen peroxide alkaline hydrogen peroxide gives the final product CH3, CH2, CH2OH that is propane 1 on but how many moles will be produced? 3 moles because of CH3, CH2, CH2, 3 and H3BO3 in the form of byproduct. Now we shall study some other methods to prepare alcohols from carbolic compounds. Means the compounds in which carbolyl group is present. We have ketone, aldehydes, acids and esters from which we can prepare alcohols. First we will study RCHO aldehyde hydrogenation that is reduction takes place in presence of palladium like catalyst or nickel like catalyst we can convert this into alcohol RCH2OH example we take HCHO this is formaldehyde When formaldehyde is reduced with hydrogen in presence of palladium or nickel catalyst, we are getting 
alcohol CH3, CH2, OH. Now another example CH3, CH double bond O. In presence of again palladium, reduction takes place with hydrogen. We get CH3, CH2, OH. So this is one way by which we can prepare alcohols. But remember, with aldehyde, we can prepare primary alcohol. Primary alcohols can be prepared by using aldehydes. But if we have ketones, like CH3, COCH3, when CH3, COCH3, is treated with hydrogen in presence of palladium catalyst then the product form is CH3CHOHCA3 that means we are getting 2 degree alcohol so 2 degree alcohol is obtained when ketones are reduced with hydrogen in presence of a catalyst now there are few methods in which acid can be converted to alcohols are C double O H this is acid catalyst like LiAlH4 lithium aluminium hydride followed by hydrolysis we get R C H2 OH that is alcohol RC double H with LiAlH4 and followed by hydrolysis we get RCH2H but remember LiAlH4 is costly that is why special type of chemicals when we have to prepare then only LiAlH4 is utilized otherwise one more reducing agent NaBH4 NaBH4 that is sodium boron hydride can also be utilized as reducing agent and if best aid if you want to of alcohol then LiAlH4 is utilized now another methods generally when alcohol is obtained from acids First, acid is converted into ester. First, acid is converted to ester and then ester gives different alcohols. We can take example of acid and alcohol that will be converted into ester. R C double O H plus R S O H acid plus alcohol R C double O R S that is ester R C double O R S that is ester and water is removed. This is esterification reaction. Now ester on reduction gives us R CH2OH, RCH2OH plus RSOH. Now from Grignard reagent, carbonyl carbon plus RMGX. This is Grignard reagent. Grignard reagent RMGX. Now here it is negatively charged and here it is positive charge. So R attack will be here and MGX will join on this oxygen. And we get nucleophilic addition product and that is sometimes known as adductor addition product. So we will get 
सी आर ओ एम जी एक्स दिस इज नॉन एस एडक्टर बिकॉज सीओ टू इज कंप्लीटली एडेड विथ आर एम जी एक्स एंड दिस इज नॉन एस एडक्ट एडिशन प्रोडक्ट नाउ एडिशन प्रोडक्ट ऑन हाइड्रोलिस is water it will give alcohol and mg oh x will be by product so from carbonyl carbon having compounds with a grignard reagent we are able to form alcohols let's take some examples first example formaldehyde hcho this is the example of formaldehyde when formaldehyde is reacted with say ch3 mgx or any halogen we can take then ch3 will be added and omgx will be added and the product will be C H O M G X and C H three will be added here. Now hydrolysis, that is reaction with H two, gives us C H three, C H two, and O H. That is we are getting ethyl alcohol. By changing this C H three, we can get other products also. but remember with formaldehyde always primary alcohol is obtained that is 1 degree alcohol is obtained now with another aldehyde ch3 cho that is acid aldehyde or we can say it is ethanol when ethanol reacts with C2H5MgX Grignard reagent, ethyl magnesium halide. Addition product will be CH3COMgX. CH3COMgX and C2H5 will be attached here. Hydrolysis. Will be. CH3 CH C2H5 OH plus Mg OH X is released. But we can see that here we are getting two degree alcohol. That is secondary alcohol is obtained. If formaldehyde is taken, then one degree alcohol. But other than formaldehyde is taken, then we are getting two degree alcohol. That is secondary alcohol. now one more case we will discuss if we have ketone cch3coch3 plus ch3mgx grignard reagent and ketone so addition product will be ch3 c O M G X C H three C O C H three C O M G X and C H three will attach here also. This is addition product. Now hydrolysis will give C H three C O H C H three C H three. So the product alcohol obtained is tertiary or three degree alcohol. Why it is three degree alcohol? Because carbon is attached with other three carbon atoms. Now we shall understand that how Grignard reagent is useful to prepare alcohols. Let's take two examples. We have CH three CH CH three CH two OH, and we have cyclohexane. And on cyclohexane we have CH two OH group. 
this we have to prepare these two products we have to prepare by utilizing hcho that is formaldehyde and a proper reagent that is grignard reagent so which grignard reagent will be utilized to prepare first compound ch3ch ch3ch2h and this one is second compound by utilizing proper grignard reagent and hcho so for preparation of first compound if we take grignard reagent to be ch3ch3mgx so this will be our grignard reagent see here r mgx isopropyl magnesium halide when it is treated with hcho hcho mgx will attach here and this isopropyl part will be in the form of fourth valency so we will get hch o mgx and ch3 ch ch3 so this is addition product now hydrolysis will give the product that we want so ch3 ch ch3 ch oh and mg oh x is liberated so look at once more ch3 ch ch3 CH3, 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 CH3. Now CH2, CH2, OH and MgOHx will be liberated. Now for the second one, if we consider cyclohexyl magnesium halide, again say R MgX, when it is reacted with HCHO. Then I described in the first question, O attack with MgX and cyclohexyl part will be attached here. And the final product will be obtained on hydrolysis that is CH2OH with cyclohexyl ring. Now, these are two questions by which we can understand the effect of reducing agent on carbonyl carbon. So, in the first case, if we write the product on reduction, it will be Remember, reduction will take place with this C double bond O group. Here in the same, here in the same way, after reduction, we will get the product like this. So, on reduction with sodium boron hydride, the final product will be this one and this.